How can we push on and get through the difficulties of this life? Well, the same way that we can know God, the same way that we can believe in him, the same way that we can grow in our relationship with him, and that's by his grace and his grace alone that we're able to do these things. And so uh, we're going to finish on Sunday our, our Grow in Grace sermon series through the book of Second Peter. And I want to encourage you to join us Sunday morning at 1040 for our worship celebration, as well as at 930 for family groups before that. But during that worship celebration at 1040, as we as we dig into Second Peter chapter three, and just as always, it's it's never enough time <laughs> to give justice to the word of God. We could always go much deeper, which is why we also do our our Wednesday evening adult Bible studies, uh, kind of a going a little deeper deeper into these passages and thinking seriously about the truth that we see in, in the Word of God and how to apply it to our lives. Uh, and so we do that on Wednesday nights. But on Sunday morning, as we get into 2 Peter chapter 3, we're going to talk about the grace to endure. And how do we endure this life? How do we get through the mocking and the difficulty? And, and when we live out our faith and, and we're, we're, we're tried in the midst of it, or we're tempted to, to turn away from our faith, or we're, or we're made fun of by others, or we're mocked because we believe that Jesus is coming again and we have great hope in him. Uh, Peter talks about these things. How do we press on? He says in chapter 3, verse 9, the Lord does not delay in his promise as some understand delay. In other words, he's not He's not putting it off for some reason. Like we would just think, well, why hasn't he come back yet? And, and that question happens often uh, or is, is asked often, you know, why hasn't Jesus returned? Why the world's such a mess? Why hasn't he returned? Well, the world's always been a mess because of our sin. <laughs> it's no different now. Uh, different messes, perhaps, but it's always been a mess. And so he says, the Lord doesn't delay in keeping his promises. Some understand delay, but is patient with you, not wanting in, any to perish, but all to come to repentance. Is that not an incredible picture of the grace of God? He doesn't want you to perish. He doesn't want others to perish. He wants us to turn from our sin and put our faith in Jesus Christ so we can have eternal life, so that we can be forgiven and be in a right relationship with him, so we don't spend eternity apart from him in hell. And so that's why he hasn't returned. And because of that, because of that grace that God has given us through his son, Jesus living a perfect life, dying on the cross for our sins, rising again because of the grace of God that is seen in the gospel. We have the grace to endure when we rely on him, when we have a relationship with him, when we, as we've seen through the first couple chapters of Second Peter, when we know him and when we believe in him and when we, when we grow in our relationship with him, then he gives us the grace to endure. And that's really the marker of genuine faith in a believer of Jesus Christ is that you endure the difficulties of this life, that you don't turn away from your faith, that you don't turn away from God's word, that you don't turn away from God's church, but that you press on and endure. So let's dig into that on Sunday morning. I hope you'll join us at 1040 for our worship celebration. Looking forward to worshiping the Lord with you.